Yo, what is up, you guys? We are back, and I'm going to be reviewing Godzilla, guys. Godzilla. Right here, as you can see, we have this Godzilla toy. I don't know what it's called because I forgot it. But we're going to be reviewing it today. So let's start with the articulation. This figure has five points of articulation. It has two at the arms right here. He does the jiggy jiggy. He has two at the legs. This one and this one. And then it has one swivel at the tail. So you can turn it like this. Now. Oh, and it also has two at the feet. Or one at the foot. You can only twist this foot. Okay. Articulation wise, it is not a bad figure for display purposes. You cannot open its mouth, but you can twist its head also. I forgot about that too. But you cannot close it or open its mouth, which is kind of a letdown for a figure like this. Now, articulation wise, I would give this figure about a 6.5 out of 10. Now, onto the color scheme of this figure. So, as you can see, it's got like a few basic colors on here. It's got a gray, a lighter gray, and a white and a black for the eye, and a white for the teeth. That's about it for this figure. And for a Godzilla figure, it's not that bad. It's kind of what you would expect from Godzilla, you know? Just like the, the standard like gray coloring on him, like the, the teeth. I think this is Heisei Godzilla. I'm not sure how accurate it is. I never watched all those movies because like, you know, they're pretty old. But um, for the coloring, I'd give this figure about a 9 out of 10. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Now, for the sculpt of the figure, it is really good. A really good sculpt. For a Godzilla figure, again, it's a really nice figure. Good sculpting. My only problem with the sculpt, you look at, down at the tail right here. I'm going to swivel it so you can see it in better lighting. The dorsal plates on the tail just don't kind of mix. They don't kind of fit with the rest of the dorsal plates on the back. There's no real angle that you can have them synced up at. So they both look the same, you know. And that is kind of a letdown. It's It kind of ruins some of the sculpt aspect of this figure. Which is kind of upsetting, personally. As I am a big Godzilla fan. I love Godzilla. Especially the legendary ones. Those are good movies. But this sculpting on the tail is not that good. The sculpting on the dorsal plates is fine. The sculpting on the head is perfect for a Godzilla figure, almost what you would expect from, like, a decent, like, a really decent brand, like, SH Monster Arts, except it would just have more articulation. The sculpt on the arms is good, except it looks like he's playing a game of rock, paper, scissors, as you can see right here. He's about to throw rock. The sculpt on the legs is fine. I don't really like, though, how on this leg, it's curved at, like, an angle, which is kind of weird. But overall... The sculpt is really good. The sculpt on the body and the dorsal plates is amazing, as I've said. There's tons of little details in this figure. Like, you can, you feel it, and you just feel all this texture. And, like, just think about feeling it right now. You, I guarantee you can feel it in your head. But that's about all for this figure. And now I'm going to move on to a different subject of this video. That I have been meaning to talk about for a long time. And that... I'm very sorry for not uploading for like 160 days. It's a real grind. And sometimes I just lose motivation because YouTube isn't showing my videos to anybody. So if you see this and you watch it all the way through, thank you so much for your support. Even if you don't like or subscribe, you don't have to. I'm not going to force you. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. It makes the world to me. I think... Every person, especially me, wants to be a YouTuber at some point in their life. Personally, I was inspired by Dan. T I was inspired by Dan TDM and all his old content, like his lab videos. That was just that's so nostalgic to me when I look at it now, and that's the reason that I wanted to be a YouTuber, and I still kind of do want to be a YouTuber. So that's why I'm uploading this video. So again, thank you so much, and I have a few more videos on the way possibly, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.